So I'm gonna be honest, one of my best finds ever was at Dalarama. Uh, it was an item we got for $4 and we sold for about 89 in the US. I think it was in the US, but uh, I'll show you guys what it was at the end of this video. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris. People know me as Tuni or Tuni Flip. And today I'm gonna go drop off some boxes at the UPS store. Everything's going to Amazon.ca. And um, after that, heading Toys R Us. And I gotta go to Dollarama to get something for my kids. But since I'm there, I'll show you guys how to source. Now, Dollarama should be your last resort if Walmart didn't come through, Canadian Tire, Marshalls, Shoppers, all these stores. You went there first and didn't come up with anything and you're desperate all right so five boxes going out today margins are about 30 35 percent all right so before we go let me show you this i sold five of these on StockX. uh yesterday we're gonna ship them out tomorrow maybe even today if i have time and i've been really liking their platform it's fun When it comes to Hot Wheels, be very careful. I've seen boxes that don't look real. They're kind of knockoffish. When it comes to things like this, Mirror Brothers, they are okay. Now, I always double check and make sure it's coming from a good distribution center. Now, this Iron Man from the outside looks pretty good, but the second I grabbed it, it felt cheap. The plastic inside was crappy. Uh, there's two listings. One you have to get approved on, or I do. And the other one, there's just too many sellers on it. The rank is not good. I will stay away from this. Okay, now this cat mini machine looks pretty good, ranks good, and if there was better margins, I probably would have picked this up. I've been seeing the same set for about three years now. <laughs> it's not a good item. It looks cool, but I, I would stay away from it. No one likes Ryan no more. X Shot and Nerf do pretty good, but the second people start finding these, the prices tank, and I just avoid it completely now. In the past, I've done very good selling books related to video games, so if you see those, scan them and maybe you'll get lucky. Pokemon cards? No, just no. Don't even bother. Don't even try. Don't make a listing. Just put that back on the shelf and leave. When it comes to electronics, I avoid a lot of it except for EG and I know there's some other brands I just don't remember right now, but they could be decent. Um, everything else I stay away from, especially power banks. I don't bother with that stuff, it's just risky. Now any cosmetic or anything you put on your face, I try to avoid it as much as possible. I don't want to deal with it, but I do know people that do quite well with it, so it's really up to you. So it's November and my lips are getting chapped, so don't mind this part. So anything like this box where the price is already printed on the box, I avoid it. I know people that use Sharpies to get rid of it, but I mean for these kind of items it's just not worth my time. This is 100% no. I don't want to hurt anyone and buying medicine from Dalarama is kind of sketchy, so yeah, I don't, I don't do any of this stuff. I also avoid baby products, unless it's something like a blanket or like the seat cover. This seemed pretty good, I scanned it. It was decent, but margins were too low for my liking, so I passed on it. I will tell you to avoid cat food, but my cat loves the Dalarama food, even though I buy the most expensive stuff at PetSmart. So, uh, this is random, do what you want with this one. So now we're heading to the kitchen section. What you're looking for is things that don't belong there things that you've never seen before 
look at those scan them and maybe you'll get lucky now Dollarama has tons of Betty Crocker I avoid it it seems like they have a partnership with them so you won't really win I also avoid Rama design it seems like it's their own PL so that's also a no A while back they had pretty good water bottles and cups but now it seems like it's just some cheap stuff. So I saw these and I'm not sure if there's a listing for these. I didn't scan it. I also don't do glass but these look pretty nice. Um, if you're into that stuff, go for it. And this is hands down Dollarama's best brand. They carry these and every time I see them, I scan them. And I think 80% of the time they're, they're pretty decent. So scan these when you see them. This is also another brand I stay away from. It's Kraft. And you can already see that there's the Dollarama sticker on it. So this is probably their own brand or their own PL. So avoid these. Now this brand is pretty good. I don't remember the name, but it's the heart with the wings. They also saw this at Walmart and Staples. So... Uh, take a look at these and you might get lucky All right, so something strange happened uh, Some stranger gave me five dollars. He was dressed up as Santa Claus asked me a few questions and uh, I think he was doing a YouTube video. So if you're out there. Thanks, man I'm gonna probably donate this to someone um, I don't need it, but appreciate it, man. Yeah, I'm gonna try to look him up um, I mean, there's not a lot of youtubers where I live so Hey, bye. Oh, I'm alright, man. All right. We'll just leave her in your car. <laughs> alright, thanks, man. Now, Play-Doh's another brand that Dalarama carries, and it's pretty good. The thing is, these have been out for so long that the listing's completely tanked. So, I don't know why I'm back at the electronics section, but like I said before, avoid any power banks or portable chargers. Just a uh, safety hazard. I've been very successful with puzzles in the past, especially from Dollarama. Now, I only stick to two brands, uh, Raven Burger. I think that's what one of them is called, and the other one's called Ebo. Now, these two brands are also at Walmart, and they do very well. So keep your eyes out on these. All right, so we did one store. I'm only going to do one. Alright, so like I said before, I don't source at Dalarama anymore. You shouldn't either. <laughs> but if you have to, if you have to, I hope uh, what I'm teaching you guys or what I'm showing you guys helps you guys out. Alright, so that was fun. Um, like I said before, I don't source at Dalarama anymore. And if I do, it's like once a month when I'm in there looking at other stuff. So just be very careful. It is risky, Dalarama stuff. You know, some of them are knockoffs, some of them are not really what's on the Amazon listing, so be very careful. They also have brands that only they carry, which I also stay away from. I don't know if they have a deal with the manufacturer or if it's actually their own PLs or whatever. But I don't I don't sell those stuff either. I stay away from it. I don't even bother scanning it. You know, um, this is just my opinion though. It's not uh, set in stone, so... All right, so I almost forgot to tell you guys about what was my best Dollarama find. This was about four years ago, a bit longer maybe, and this is what got us hooked to reselling. And I'm so happy that my wife found these. She was the one that found them. So what it was, it was a Guitar Hero set. Believe it or not, the guitar and the game were in this box. And I thought at first it was just like a book or it didn't even work, but we bought one and we literally hooked it up to our Xbox and it worked and it worked good. So my wife took the day off and she hit as many as possible that day. We got like 40 units, 45 units, and we made so much money off these things. And that alone was what got us hooked to reselling and why I still love it. So we took a three day vacation and if you're Canadian, you know that Niagara Falls is the place to be. <laughs> We got a nice hotel, we went to a few restaurants, took the kids out to, you know, all those Ripley's, believe it or not, um, places. Yeah, man, it was, it was good. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, and 
to the next one. Bye. All right, so that's that. I think that's it for today. Go home and watch the game.